guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be doing a reading vlog where I'm reading The Entity for the first time. So The Entity is also a horror film that I've always heard about over the years. And it's about a woman who is apparently attacked by spirits. I believe she says she was attacked by the spirits of three men. And it's based on a true account, this woman's true account. Everybody says it's a really disturbing read and it's also a really disturbing film, so I'm excited, I guess, but also scared to read this and see how it is. So if you're interested in watching me get freaked out by reading about a woman being assaulted by men's, men, men's ghosts, then keep watching on. And uh, just a little reminder that this video is probably going to be filled with spoilers. So if you don't want to be spoiled, leave. Leave, okay? I'm sorry. But, you know, thank you for coming. Uh, maybe hit that like button on your way out. Hit that subscribe button on your way out. And uh, I'll catch you next time. But for everybody else who has read this, stay tuned and see my thoughts on it. Okay, so I just finished up the first chapter and we are already getting into it. <laughs> she has been attacked already. We meet the main character, her name is Carlotta, and she is the mother of three children, um, two little girls and an older boy, and she seems to be in a rough situation uh, uh, where she doesn't have a lot of money and she's trying to uh, make a better life for herself and her daughters. So I have a feeling that's going to come into play when she starts getting attacked relentlessly and she's probably not going to be able to leave her home. And I'm very nervous at how much it's gonna intensify because the first attack was pretty intense and we're probably going to get even crazier from here. So I will touch base when I have a little bit more to update, but so far it's good. Uh, and I'm nervous, okay? I'm very nervous. about two chapters into this book now and it's crazy. She's getting attacked frequently. She doesn't know what's going on. She's very unsettled in this house and I think that it might be connected to her bed because she keeps saying that she has this beautiful ornate European bed that came with the apartment and I think the bed is haunted and I think this whole story is a PSA for why you shouldn't stay in furnished homes because you never know what ghosts are coming with that furniture so yeah and she keeps she doesn't know what's going on she starts questioning should she just leave the house and it's like yeah yeah maybe you should but where's she gonna go 
where's she gonna go? So I'm interested to see, she just fled the house because she, she could sense that another attack was happening or was going to happen, so she fled the room and then something showed up in her room and started trashing it. Like it was pissed that she wasn't there in the bed for it to take advantage of. And it's just scary and unsettling and it's already disturbing so far so I don't know if it's gonna get even more disturbing because the scenes where she's attacked are very vivid and it just it feels too real and I don't know how much worse they're going to get but since we're only like 30 pages in I have a feeling it's gonna get worse and I don't know where this story is going from here. I don't know if she's going to seek help because right now she's she's pretty alone and feeling very alone and it's making me very sad for her because she's trying her best. So hopefully these ghosts can fuck off, get the fuck out of here, and she can figure out how to get her life back. So I will update you when I read a little bit more and... Hopefully, she gets some help. Hello, it is my second day reading The Entity and it is Thursday, April 8th, and I just finished part one of this story. I think there's four parts and um, the first part is basically us just watching our main character named Carlotta get attacked night after night in a really vicious, brutal way. It's sad because I think she's experienced a lot of abuse in her life and now she's experiencing it from forces that she can't see. If this is... I, I just can't read this woman get attacked for 500 pages like I really hope this story is going to move along and she's gonna seek help for this I really don't know where it's going and also the author he kind of Barlow just walked in and he's breathing very heavily I think he's he's experiencing uh, the anger I'm experiencing right now he understands my my frustrations uh, the protagonist is it's mentioned many times how beautiful she is and they talk about her breasts and her nipples and just kind of sexualizing her and objectifying her almost and I've heard that the book does that it objectifies her so I don't know I have a feeling it's gonna get worse and I just I don't really understand the point of why it focuses on her body and her boobs and just her being beautiful and sexy and it's almost like it's saying well you know this is why she's being attacked by these spirits so I don't know but also this is my 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 dude my Barlow he got a haircut Barlow say hello to the people oh look at that face the Barlow boy <laughs> He's ready for his close-up. Oh, look at that face. All right, back to ghosts, assault, and women in their sleep. Even when they're dead, they just have to mess with women. But seriously, excuse me, sir. I'm trying to vlog here. Oh, oh. Okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's like Jaws. <laughs> See, he's not that cute. He's a vicious little monster. <laughs> okay okay thank you um yeah what was i saying i am on going into part two now uh and i will touch base again when i have a little bit uh more to say a little more to read but i'm really hoping that uh she gets some help uh, because reading this poor woman struggling and feeling lost and alone and violated is not an enjoyable thing for me. It's not very fun. It's just not. So I hope things change. Hello. It is Friday, April 9th, and I've read a little bit more from the last time I checked in, about 50 pages. And... Uh, I don't know how to feel about this book. It's kind of... 
I'm kind of a little bored. Carlotta was just attacked again while she was sleeping on her couch, so it doesn't matter where she is, the spirits are going to attack her. And we got a little glimpse into her first marriage, which was a little uh, weird. She was married when she was 16, and I think her boyfriend was a little older, and it was just kind of one of those situations where she used this relationship to Barlow. Barlow just came in and he's mad I'm not giving him attention so he sneezed. So Carlotta married this guy when she was 16 and it was more of a way to rebel against her family. She was looking for an escape from her family and she quickly realized that the relationship with her husband wasn't a good one. It wasn't gonna go anywhere. She wasn't getting what she wanted in life but she did have a baby. She she got pregnant with her son Billy, who's 16 now, and then her husband mysteriously died. And I thought they were gonna say that he is haunting her from the grave. Like I thought that's where they're going. And I don't know. Maybe they will go that way. But can you imagine if you're the guy you dated when you're 16, like comes back and haunts you? God, I I. Barlow. <laughs> Barlow is growling. Barlow appearance? You want it? No, okay. Ow, ow. Okay. I just, I couldn't imagine never being able to escape that relationship because your ex is so pissed off and so enraged by you leaving them that they come back and haunt you in the grave, uh -huh. from the grave. It's kind of like the Invisible Man remake with Elizabeth Moss, like, he basically made himself invisible so he could uh, continue to abuse her and gaslight her and make her feel crazy. Yeah, I don't know I don't know where it's going, but I'm starting to feel a little uncomfortable because her relationship with her therapist is really weird. It's a male therapist and she just experienced an attack and she showed him her bruises and he examined her examined her and she like gets naked in front of him and he felt weird about it and he's like breaking protocol to do things for her like he's giving her his personal number and I'm just really worried that it's gonna go to uh, a creepy level between them like I feel like he's developing a relationship or he's developing feelings for her where he's gonna abuse his power and I really hope that doesn't happen but we shall find out it probably will happen though because the author is a man and I feel like this is just a fucking wild fantasy for him so anyway I will touch back hopefully I have more to say but right now I'm just kind of meh on it. I don't really, I'm not really having a good old time. It's no, it's no comparison to The Exorcist. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see if this gets better, if it blows my mind, but so far it's not doing that. So It is Sunday, April 11th, I think. I don't fucking know. I feel like I've been reading this book for 20 years and it's been hard. It is, uh, it's a slog to get through. It's really difficult. Um, I found it kind of super boring. I feel like the same thing. <laughs> Barlow, Barlow's good. It's just boring and repetitive and I feel like the pacing is very off or it's just very slow. It's a lot of her getting attacked and questioning herself and she's being analyzed by psychologists. And then finally, it's like almost 300 pages in, she finally meets these people who I think they're like parapsychologists and she tells them that she's been experiencing some activity at her house. So they come, these two people, investigators come and investigate her house and they tell her that she's experiencing poltergeist activity but she has kept it secret from them that she's being sexually assaulted for some reason. I don't know why. So these people are 
really trying to help her and she's feeling a sense of relief and hope. And it's also giving me the Conjuring 2 vibes, even though that had nothing not a similar type haunting but it's similar with it's a, a single mom with kids and they're living in this hell inside their house because there's a spirit haunting them one thing i wanted to touch upon that's really annoying to me is i feel like the author whenever he talks about women characters female characters he always talks about their beauty or their appearance it's always like she had long legs she was very pretty and beautiful and blah 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 and whenever he talks about the male characters he doesn't really focus on their appearance as much it's he focuses on their characteristics or their traits like um one of the parapsychologists is always like well he was very intelligent like just little things like that and i don't know if i'm reaching or i'm just like super aggravated at this point because i'm exhausted and this book is just annoying me at this point that i'm just like nitpicking but i feel like the author has done that a lot throughout this book where he focuses a lot on Carlotta's appearance and how beautiful she is, but he doesn't do the same for male characters. And it's just um, a little observation, I've noticed. So I'm almost at 300 pages. There's 485, and I'm hoping that... I don't know where it's going to go from here, but I'm really kind of over it now, um, unless, unless things amp up in the last however many pages that is but it seems like a lot um but i've put in so much time i don't want to give up yet and when there are moments of action that like there are moments where it's really good and it's really creepy and eerie and you can just it's just there it's so good and then it's just slogging along i feel like this could have been condensed and edited to be a lot shorter there's a lot of stuff that i felt was filler so that's what's annoying me i hate when stories do that so i will touch back when i read a little bit more hopefully and hopefully it gets better for me because so far i'm not really i'm not really digging it so Jerry, who is her boyfriend, he's in prison now <laughs> because he almost killed her. He starts like reminiscing or he's thinking back about the night and he's trying to figure out what is going on with Carlotta. And he's like getting jealous thinking about her being assaulted by an unseen force. <sighs> I just, I can't with this fucking book. He says he loved her, but what was she? What was this power she had to make him see things? This power that made her convulse as though Jerry shuddered. Jealousy shot through his side like a wall of fire. What was this power that made her moan? The way he had never been able to make her moan. Really, dude? Really? Go fuck yourself. Okay. <laughs> I cannot deal with him. I am triggered. He said, he's like, again, like talking about what happened. I'm only a few pages along since my last update, but he's like, how could Carlotta do this to him? Uh, what? He's making it all about him. Like, dude, you fucking smashed a chair over her head and now she's in critical condition in a hospital, but she did something wrong to you. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Don't date men like this, okay? I learned the hard way.
I just finished. Finally. I finally finished. I feel like a weight has been lifted. But also, I don't understand what just happened. It did not get better. It did not get better. Uh, uh, what? Hi, guys. It is a couple of days since I've finished reading The Entity, and I'm here to say I did not enjoy it. I did not enjoy it one bit. It was 500 pages of the same shit over and over again, and I really feel like they kind of exploited this character, this female character who is based on a real woman and they kind of turned her story into a circus act and she literally becomes a lab rat towards the end. And I honestly, I don't even understand the book's ending. It she was experiencing this super traumatic event, but to the psychiatrist who became obsessed with her, like stalker level, he took everything that she was experiencing and uh, brushed it off as just she was just having schizophrenia or a psychotic episode and he admitted her into a mental health facility against her 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 will he is in control of her life now and i can't think of the words but that's like the same thing with what's what happened with britney spears like he's in control of her estate and it's just fucked up i don't know it's just so weird i just feel like there was a potential here to focus the story on this woman and her struggle with just life in general and trying to make a better life for herself and her family and to overcome past traumas and then having to deal with this bizarre traumatic event of being assaulted by an unknown unseen entity it just didn't really allow it didn't really allow her to take center stage here it was i felt like it was more focused on the people around her and how they were going to exploit her and use her and i don't know if that was the intention from the author but it was just super frustrating to read i just didn't like it and the book sucked the life out of me i felt like it it really did and you can see that over the course of this vlog you can see me start off really strong and then just slowly deteriorate with my mental health <laughs> because this wasn't an enjoyable read and Barlow is now in here making noise as usual. It's like he just knows. Oh, Barlow, would you, say, would you like to say goodbye? Would you like to give your final thoughts? What do you think? Did you like it? What are your final thoughts on the entity? Cat got your tongue? Okay. Yeah, that's, those are my thoughts too. Thank you. I don't recommend it, but, you know, I'm glad, I guess, that I checked it off my list. You can't win them all. Certainly not with this one. And that fucking Jerry, man. Jerry. Have you read The Entity before? If you have, please let me know your thoughts down below. Please let me know if I interpreted things wrong. If you have another viewpoint, I would love to hear it and chat about it in the comments. Thank you for watching. I hope to do another vlog again in the future, sometime soon. If you'd like to connect with me on social so we can become spooky besties and talk about spooky shit, I'll leave all my links down below. And uh, I'll catch you next time, guys.